In this video, we'll look at some of the key features that are in stages. Keyframes, which let you control movement, transparency, and other elements in detail. The scrubber, which lets you scroll through your project previewing the effects. And the red guides, that help you line everything up and sync your music to your animation. These three tools can be used in a variety of ways, but we'll just look at an easy example to make sure that we've got the basic uses. Let's create an animation with a stack of photos, moving them from one pile onto another. Here we've got a chapter, background, and three photos that we want to animate. I've already gone ahead and set up my photos to the starting point before adding any motion. We want to open up the keyframes tab, here or here, and look at the motion track. To create the motion of one photo moving from the right corner to the stack, we'll need three markers. The starting point, or marker one, as you'll find in the manual input. Marker number two, the distance between the first and second marker tells the program how long your photo should remain stationary. And finally, we have the third marker, which completes the motion and tells the photo where to land or end up, as well as how long the moving process should take. You can set these by feeling, or you can use the manual input and determine exactly which second you would like the motion to begin and end. After we've got our first photo done, we can use the red guides to help us match up our movements so that after the first photo is on the pile, then the second photo starts moving. You can get red guides by holding down the shift key and left clicking on the timeline. To remove a guide, simply right click it. Now that we have all our photos lined up, let's check our work with the scrubber. We can activate the scrubber from the layout designer. Then you can click anywhere on the timeline and drag it around to see an individual element's motion or the entire project's motion. As we use the scrubber, we can see that our motion is backwards. They are going one behind the other instead of one on top of the other. This can easily be fixed using keyframes and effectsy collage. We've already used keyframes to control the movement, and now we can use them to control the transparency. First, we drag a flexi collage and hold down the control key while copying our photos into it, in the opposite order. Then on the transparency track, we're going to make it so that the motion begins with our first set of photos and ends with our second set which are organized in the opposite order. We do this by clicking once for the full transparency, and then on the second click, we drop it to zero transparency. That way, in the middle of moving across the canvas, the photos will be swapped between the ones that are in our chapter and the ones that are in our flexi collage. Let's do this for the others and check it. Now the motion is in the right order, so we've briefly looked at using keyframes, guides, and the scrubber. All of these tools are important features that give you the ultimate control over your projects and stages.